and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Let's do some Revelations talk. Master of the Universe Revelations, new show coming out on Netflix. What's the revelation? The revelation is this series looks awesome. All right? I don't want to like it. I don't want to like it because I know what happens if I like it. All right? Because you got a series and then you got action figures. And all of that translates to cha-ching, out of my pocket. Uh, but anyway, let's dive into this. So I want to do a little bit of a, a, a dive on uh, just the uh, animation uh, stills that came out. And then we're going to go into the action figures. Got this info from one of my guys, Villain Evil. Follow him. Put his link in the Instagram. Big Masters of the Universe fan like myself. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and just dive in here. So so let's just start with this first shot. Uh, He-Man. All right, attacking the screen, coming coming right at you. Right away, this feels like a show for us, all right? This is a show, this is not like Thundercats Roar where they're like, let's get some audience that is not us. This is for us. Now, we've already been told that this is an extension of the uh, Filmation brand, but uh, words are, uh, talk is cheap, all right? But the proof is in the pudding. I mean, this is... This is obviously being taken seriously. The animation is 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 uh, looks like it's a lot more adult oriented, and and it has the original costume designs. It's sort of updated. I mean, the sword is is a throwback of the uh, the original sword, and you know, He Man looks like a badass. He looks juiced in uh, in, in this one. So, um, very excited about what I'm seeing. Here's one. Of He-Man and Skeletor in con that He-Man is huge, um, but I, I think this animation is is looking looking really good. Um, this one I love this sorceress, sorceress and He-Man. I'm a big sorceress guy. I love her her, her revamped design. I love that it stays true to the original. Uh, so so yeah, we'll just keep going here. Prince Adam. So you got skinny. Tiny Prince Adam. So if you remember the uh, 2000, what, 2002, 2003 uh, series, this was sort of like an invention of that where he was kind of like this small diminutive uh, uh, guy uh, as opposed to the filmation thing where he was just like yoked. Same yoked as He-Man. Looked exactly like He-Man. Didn't make a lot of sense. Made me feel like everybody at Eternia is pretty fucking dumb to not put in two and two together. But uh, that's the whole Superman thing, too. But, uh, but yeah, so that looks great. And then, look at this one. You got him on Battle Cat. This Battle Cat looks like a beast, literally a beast. And uh, look at it. He's drooling. Is that drool? Love this. This, this. this is a show for us, okay? And then you have one of Skeletor and uh, digging, this, uh, digging this Skeletor design. Uh, there's a few more here. Here's Tila. My... Girl Tila right here. She looks like a badass. She's got her sword. And then you got this crazy looking Moss Man. Uh, yeah, more Moss Man. Can't get enough of Moss Man. And I, I just love the... This has a little bit of a ninja scroll in it. Uh, this uh, this uh, crazy face here. This Beast Man is amazing. This, is, this was my favorite shot. I love the design on this Beast Man. I love that he looks like he's gigantic. I love his teeth. I like that he's not just some dumb. I mean, he might be dumb, but he looks like he's vicious. And um, then I think this is the last shot I have. This group shot right here. You got Evelyn and Tila and um, Roboto. And then you have that. So, and then there's a, a, a new character, or I think it's a new character. Maybe it's a, a character that's revamped. And then you have this crazy Orko. Look at that Orko. What's going on? Is that... First of all, it almost the eyes look a little feminine. I don't know. Is Orko a lady now? I don't know. Um, or maybe that's just the way that's drawn. But I like the hat a lot. I, I, I like all this, man. I, you know what? I don't even mind the Evelyn sort of airbender type. Look, look at her arms. She uh, she lifts, bro. She definitely lifts. Um, Tila, too. But uh, so I'm excited to watch this. As you can tell, Revelations. And with... This new line comes, or this new series, ah, I just blew it. Comes a new line, okay? And we have some better photos of this line. So, where am I? 
So here we go. Let's go ahead, because I think these are in 4K now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this group shot first, okay? Here's a nice, clear group shot. You can take a look at everybody in scale. Uh, He-Man looks like he's the tallest of the bunch. Evil Lynn's there, and she's uh, they're pretty much on model. So it seems if you're going to like the series and the style of the series, you're definitely going to like this. I like the staff. Look at Skeletor. I like just that 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 those uh, ridges at the top. I really like that. Um, so right away, I'll tell you, I'll be all in for these four. Okay, and then we'll move on to some of this other stuff that looks like it's going. So here's some packaging uh, uh, picks. So you got Battle Cat, you got He Man, you got Skeletor in package. We've seen some of these before. I think they're just higher res. And then you got this. Skelegod. <laughs> Skelegod. Who is Skelegod? All right. Is it like the Master of the Universe movie where it's like Skeletor just gets infused with all the stuff? And and uh, here's some closer picks. So you got him right here. And it's obviously some form, you know, maybe it's like Super Saiyan Skeletor with he's got the horns and looks like it's like uh, uh, fell smoke, like from Warcraft. It's like something out of Warcraft. And then you got a shot right here, and uh, just like a full body shot. He's got a face on his loincloth, right on his crotch. And he's got this, he, he just looks like a massive figure. And here's him holding up the sword, the giant pauldrons. Um, so, obviously there's going to be a story behind this, but uh, okay. I, I, I want to know more. I, I'm, I'm not in for Skelegod yet, okay? I got to figure out what Skelegod's place in the world. Where does he fall in? in the circle of life that is Master of the Universe. Um, but then we got some uh, shots of Moss Man right here. I like this Moss Man. I, I'm, I'm a fan of this Moss Man. Uh, he got him, he's shooting out his, uh, his uh, uh, what is that, roots, roots at people. And then you got Evelyn. Uh, my voice is cracking. Uh, you got Evelyn, and she's there with her uh, scepter thing, and then Here's the uh, evil in head, and she's got she's got guns, man. Um, and I, I do like the evil in head. I do kind of want them to do a throwback evil in costume too. I know they probably won't, but uh, but yeah. And do we have any more pics of? Oh, here's one of dog barking. Here's one of He Man. You can get a little. Uh, you can get a closer pick right here. And then one of the face. The face. The face. Eh. I, you know, it's okay. I, I, it's, I'm looking at the figure as a whole. I like the body. I like the loincloth. I like a lot of this. I don't love the face, but I also am very picky with the He-Man faces. So, it is what it is. And then you got Battle Cat, obviously. Battle Cat looks, I mean, Battle Cat always looks cool. It, it, it's, it, Battle Cat is, is, the, is a hard one to, to, to mess up. Although I say that there's another Master of the Universe incarnation with this really janky looking Battle Cat that I don't like. So, um, but yeah, Battle Cat looks cool. Some close ups. And then I think there's sort of like the Cringer model as well. And then finally, Skeletor. Here's a, a good look at Skeletor. Uh, again, really, really love the staff. I like the armor a lot. I like the leathery texture on there. It looks like he's fairly articulated. And then here's a close-up of him with his crazy face. He looks just absolutely insane. I like that they gave him that hood. It's almost like the Green Goblin where the, what is that called? Where the hood just comes to a point. Whatever that is. Okay, I like that. So... All in all, Revelations Deep Dive. I'm very excited for this show, all right? You won me over. You won me over enough to get in, all right? Hopefully, the story is not shit. Um, and uh, hopefully, it is a true continuation, as promised, of the Filmation series. I'm a big fan of the Filmation. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. Do I want to get into another Masters of the Universe line? No. Okay? No, hell no, I don't. I'm 
I, I picked up old school Master Universe. I picked up the 2000 Master Universe. I picked up the Staxions. If anybody remembers what Staxions are, okay, look it up. They were statues, little mini statues. Then, you know, the classics obviously was just money, 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 hubba, hubba, hubba. And now I just kind of became like a late in the game origins guy because I'm sick in the head, because I'm twisted. And now this, I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm doing, all right? I'm insane, and then I get statues. What, what, stop, enough. How much does a man need? But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. Revelation, obviously, cat kicking over the lamp. Um, Revelation's coming out, what was it, July? B -b 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 where is it, where is it? July 23rd, debut. I will be watching it, and maybe I will review it. I don't know. Maybe we'll all watch it together. But uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.